Hi guys and welcome to a new video, so today I got the Galaxy S6 with me and today we are going to install and review the Android Oreo 8.1.0 for the Samsung Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge. So we are going to split this video into two parts, so in the first part of this video we are going to install this ROM, I am going to show you all the steps you need to do or you need to perform in order to install this ROM successfully. And in the second part of this video we are going to take a short look on this ROM, so uh, how does it look like, what features does it have, what are the bugs, etc. And yeah, so now let's start with the installation part. So before we start to install this ROM, there are a couple of things which you need to do first, as always. So first of all, you need TWRP installed on your phone. Um, if you don't know how to install TWRP or if you, done, if you haven't done that already, you can watch some other videos on YouTube showing how to install TWRP recovery on your Samsung Galaxy S6. The second thing which you need are the two files. So the first file is the ROM file itself and the second file is the gapps package so you need the gapps package in order to get all these google stuff working on your phone right so the first step you need to do is to power off your device so basically power off your device from here then you need to boot to the twrp recovery in order to boot to the twrp recovery you need to press the volume up button the home button and the power button at the same time and you need to release these buttons when you see this logo over here. Here in the TWRP recovery you need to go to the wipe option first and click on advanced wipe and select all these things which I am selecting right now. So you select Stavlik, system, data and cache, then swipe to wipe. And with doing this, you will basically lose all your apps and all your settings from your phone, but your internal storage will still be there. So you won't lose your photos and so on, but you will lose your contacts, you will lose your settings and all of your apps. Right, after we have done that, go back and go to the install option, then locate your ROM. So as you can see, this here is the ROM, the Resurrection Remix Android Oreo, Resurrection Remix version 6.0.0. Um, after we have selected this one here just swipe to flash and this process could take like one or two minutes or maybe a bit longer you just need to wait until it's finished so the installation process is finished now. Now you can go to the um, go to the wipe section again and wipe the cache and the devlik. So let's do that quickly, and then you can say reboot to the system. And if TWRP asks you to install the TWRP app, basically say do not install. So now the phone will boot up. This process could take like uh, a few minutes. You just need to wait until the phone boots up. see the phone booted up successfully and we have installed uh, Android Oreo on our Samsung Galaxy S6. Let me set in the pin first and here we go. But the thing is that we don't have the Google Play Store on board. So we don't have or we as you can see the Play Store is not present here and in, in order to get the Play Store and all other Google stuff working on your phone we also need to install the G apps. For that we need to boot to the TW RP recovery again so basically say power off from here and press the volume up button the home button and the power button again and now you need to go to the install option again and install the G apps so you need to install the ARM uh, 64 G apps for Android 8.1 and I would prefer to use the smallest G apps package because you can install uh, every other thing from the Play Store later on so you don't need these big uh, G apps packages and yeah so this process could, al could also take a few minutes you just need to wait As 
you can see this process is also finished now and now you can save reboot system again and say do not install one more time and um, yeah now you need to wait until the phone boots up so the phone booted up i need to set in my pin and here we go so this here is android oreo on the samsung galaxy s6 um let me confirm you that quickly system about phone here you can see that this is the smg 920f the international flat model and this here is the android version it's android 8.1 here we have this easter egg of android 8.1 and here we have this small octopus over here which lags like hell and yeah so now let's start with the second part of this ROM, the review. So as you can see, this is a really minimalistic ROM, so you don't get that uh, you don't you don't get that much bloatware on this phone. So as you can see, we got something called AudioFX, which is a nice um, tool to boost your audio or to change your audio. Um, here we got a normal cal calculator, which is the same since Android Lollipop. We got the camera and um, the camera is working quite fine so you shouldn't expect the best camera experience on this ROM here or better you shouldn't expect a good camera experience on any USB based ROM but um, this year is kind is quite decent so as you can see it has some problems with the autofocus over here um, as you can see it's not that sharp so let's try it one more time okay now it's sharp and the pictures are okay i mean it as you can see it's not really sharp but it's okay and it's not that bad and you can also see that the camera app is really 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 simple so you only get this um shutter there and this three dot menu over here so uh, it's a really minimalistic camera app but it should be enough to get um for your daily usage Right, we also got the clock, which uh, is also still the same. We got uh, the contacts app, the email app, the f my files app, um, the gallery, the messaging app, standard music app. Then we have the Play Store, which we have installed together with the um, G apps package. A recorder is here on board, so as you can see, you can record sound and you can also record your screen with this app, which is kind of nice to see. Um, sim toolkit and you also get a wallpapers app which is really nice so you can download some new wallpapers online right so this rom hasn't got that many bugs so almost everything is working so as you can see the wi-fi is working here we have different wi-fi networks over here the bluetooth is also working um, as you can see the sim card is also working mobile data is working and yeah so the ROM is quite smooth as you can see so it doesn't lag that much but um, the battery life is not the best here so as you can see I have 48% uh, left on this phone I'm not quite sure but you will if you don't use your phone that much you will definitely get one full day I mean if you don't play games or if you only use your phone to take some pictures and to, to chat with whatsapp it will definitely be enough to get one full day but if you use apps like facebook instagram and so on you will probably need to charge your phone in the day right um so this is pretty much it so there is not that much to talk about this rom so as you can see it's pretty minimalistic yeah if you liked this video give a thumbs up if you didn't like this video give a dislike as always and peace out